Welcome to Cloud FastPath, the fastest, most reliable, most secure way to move your files where you need them to be. Maybe you're migrating to a different storage system, backing up or synchronizing. Maybe you're moving your data from an on-premise to a cloud system, or between two cloud systems, or even among a complex array of systems. No matter what, Cloud FastPath makes sure your data is where you need it, when you need it, all with a simple user interface. Here we're going to be showing you how you might move some digital assets from your Windows on-premise file server to your new Google Drive account, maybe for business continuity, or maybe you're just moving your marketing department over to work there. Here within the Cloud FastPath interface, you'll see that we've divided the screen into three areas. On the top right, we've got our points of presence. Think of these as the on and off ramps to the highway that your data is going to be traveling on. We've already connected our Windows file server here, and we have a couple of other systems that are going to be used to import the data into the Google system so that the data moves efficiently and quickly and your migration takes as little time as necessary. The event log at the bottom will be used as we're going to monitor the progress of our job so that we can see any issues that occur or make sure that everything's moving smoothly. And then finally in the top left, our jobs list where we've set up a catalog of all the migrations and backups that we're doing. To start, we'll create a new job here. And again, we're going to be moving our digital assets to Google Drive. Okay. As I said, we've already connected our Windows system here, and we've got a list of all the drives and shares that are available off of our file server, but we do need to connect our Google Drive account to the Cloud FastPath so that we can target that system. So we'll create a new system here. We'll select from the vast array of types of systems that Google Cloud FastPath supports, Google Drive. We'll select that we want to run this through our West Coast facility. And then we'll authenticate with our Google Drive account, giving Cloud FastPath permission to write data into our Drive account. With this authenticated, we're right back into Cloud FastPath. And we'll select this Google Drive system that we've created as the target for our data migration. For the source of our migration, we'll use some data off the D drive of our Windows file server. So we'll just drag that in here on the left-hand side. And then we'll use our file chooser here to select the source files or directories that we want to move to our Drive account. So we'll select the Digital Media Assets folder here from our file server and hit OK. This job's now ready to run, so we'll close this out, returning to our dashboard, and click the Play button from our job library. We immediately see that the data begins to process, first scanning the target system to see if any of these files already exist, determining if they're out of date and need to be updated, or if everything's already okay and they can be skipped, and then moving the files that are either new or have been modified. We can click on the job name here to quickly see how fast the files are moving across and make sure everything's moving smoothly. And for additional details, we can go into this history tab and see information about the performance of our job, the files that are being transferred, and how quickly they're moving. In the future, if we wanted to run this job on a regular basis, we can use our scheduling system to schedule this job to run at a certain date and time, to repeat on a given frequency, or even to be triggered by another job so that one job may kick off another, and so on. That's it. I hope you've seen how easy it is to move your data from your Windows file server to Google Drive, or really between any other types of systems that Cloud FastPath supports.